Hey guys, so welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to configure a Cisco Meraki and how to configure the WAN port of the Cisco Meraki device. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you've disconnected yourself from the internet and plug your laptop or your computer straight into the Cisco Meraki device. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to this URL here, setup.meraki.com. Once you do that, it will take you to this page here. Now I'm using this because I've already set my device up, but for this video, I'm just gonna use this. So as you can see here, the first thing you see on my device, it says the, the appliance is functioning normally and healthy, which is what it should be. And it just gives you some information like the name of the device, the model, the hardware address, and any other information about the internet connection. Now the next step you want to do is head over to the configure tab and once you click on configure tab you're going to be prompted with a window like this. Now in this window what you want to do is you want to type in the serial number of your Cisco Meraki device. So if you look under your device on the back of it or underneath it you should see a serial number. Now that serial number is what you're going to use to log into the device. So once you've typed in your serial number into the username field, you just go ahead and click sign in. Now for me, I've already configured a password and a username. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type that. And boom, you're in. So as you can see here, this is my internet connection setup. Now, as you can see, I'm not using VLAN tagging and my connection is triple pure E and I'm authenticating with a username and password. So as you can see here, you need to make sure that you know what sort of settings you're getting from your internet provider. And then once you know that, you can enter that information here. If you do not have triple PoE connection, you can just use a, a direct, um, direct connection type, which is basically just like your DHCP. Um, you can give yourself a static IP if you want, um, or you can use VLAN tagging if you have VLANs. Now, just something to note, you can actually have two internet uplinks uh my device is an mx64 depending on what device you have it may or may not support that but as you can see here on port 4 i have an internet connection and i can either choose it from being an internet uplink or just a lan port so i have mine set up as an internet port so that if i ever need to fail over to another isp or maybe let's say my my port one internet connection goes down, at least I've got a backup, you know? So yeah, once you've configured your internet connection settings, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is click save. Once you've clicked save, you can then go on and the device would restart because what it's gonna do is it's gonna connect to the internet and it's gonna download all of the configurations from the Cisco Meraki dashboard. Now, once that happens, there's going to be a few seconds where it'll be rebooting and, and lights will be flashing and you know just give it a few minutes and once it's done it should come up now all just remember all the configurations for your device are done through the dashboard so things like dhcp dns uh, firewall rules all that sort of stuff everything is done through the dashboard so this is just to configure the wan ip of your cisco meraki and nothing else I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you found this use information useful and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.